Hello, let's have a look on how we can have the player slide on ice surfaces like that. I'm not pressing a key now, I'm just sliding and now I'm stopping since I'm now on stone again. Okay, the Unreal Engine simulates physical interaction between two physical objects via physical materials and this scene consists of two ice blocks. One ice block is on an ice ground and one ice block is on a stone ground. Both have different physical materials attached. And you see this ice block moves not so far on the um, stone and moves way better on the ice. Okay, this is just because of the physical material values. We have a quick look into these so just first a look into one of these material instances where the physical materials are placed here and now have a look inside of such a material this is the stone physical material it has it has a high friction and a low bounciness restitution whereas the physical material ice has a very low friction and a very low restitution and the friction combine mode is here set to multiply which works great for ice because this value will be multiplied with the other physical material that interacts with this one and uh, the result will be the final friction for this simulation so but what do we do with the player you have this stone ground and the player moves great on the stone but we want to have him slide on the ice ground but it doesn't work and it doesn't work like the physical material at all but we have this character movement and let's look into the character movement walking there is a ground friction when we set it this one to zero and play it's still not the behavior we want and the character slides just a bit more but still comes to rest too fast but there's another value that you need to set and this is breaking deceleration walking set this to zero two play it and now i'm not touching the wasd anymore i'm just sliding all the way down and now i'm moving in this direction and i'm just sliding now i'm not pressing anything at all okay so so is we set this back now we need a system that is able to look up the physical materi materials the player walks on but before we set this up we need to have a look into the physical materials again because these values are not so much important now for us for this task it's more this value here it's the surface type the physical material ice already has a surface type ice here and the stone the stone one and these are set up because i already put them into the project settings let's have a look into the project settings settings project settings um, on the engine there's a section called physics click there and scroll all the way down And there you see the surface type ice and the surface type stone. So once you have set these, you have to restart the engine in order to have these displayed inside of the physical materials. Then you go into your physical material and click on the rollout and set your physical material accordingly. So once you did this, you can again open the first person character and now we want to set up a quite clever method to uh, look up the material that we are walking on and that is not by using traces every now and then that is by using the capture component the capture component already has contact to the ground already and all the time and we can make use of it let's click on it and scroll down to the collision area and then there's this arrow show advanced click on it and it opens another set of values here and you see return material on move turn this on this makes that 
the capsule will return the material every time it moves. So once you set this up, we have to make an event that fires every few milliseconds. Seconds. And we do this not by using a, a tick, we use a timer instead. Because uh, we don't need to have this value uh, looked up every frame. It is enough to have this value looked up every uh, 10 milliseconds or so. So we set up a timer, timer by function name. Set timer by function name, there it is. We set up a function name here. It's called uh, um, set uh, surface or uh, set friction values. Set ground friction. That's a good name. So um, let's take this, control C, copy this. Set the time to 0.1, like 10 milliseconds, and set it, set it to looping. Uh, we don't actually need a reference to this timer here. We can have one. It's, well, it's okay. This is the ground friction uh, tester or whatever. So I have it connected here. And now this one will fire every 10 milliseconds. Now we make a custom event here event, paste this name here, and now set up the lookup for this ground. For this we take the character movement and look up the floor, get current floor. It gives back a structure. We can have this structure split here, right click it and split struct pin. And it gives another structure, the floor hit result. And we can pull out of this and get the surface. There it is. So you have to know this actually. <laughs> One cannot think of this, but uh, this is how you get to the surface type. And what do we want to do with the ground friction here? Set ground friction uh, custom event. We want to set up values from the character movement component. Now we get, grab another reference from it, pull from the pin, and set ground friction. So this is the first one that we set. And now we pull again from it. Set braking deceleration was the other value that is relevant for this type of thing that we plan here. So let's do it like this and have a nice rerouting here. Okay, so now what do, what do we do now? We have to set these values according to the surface type. It's a bit of space here. So this is uh, an enumeration. So we can pull off it and have a select node here. The select node is actually a wildcard. You can put this return value in any value here and it will set these values here accordingly. So float numbers will be needed here so you can put float numbers now here. Now this one is for the ground friction and normally the ground friction is about 8. We take the same for stone. And we take zero for ice for now. Now we pull off the surface type again, make another select node, and put it here, breaking the acceleration walking. And this one is 2048 as default. And we set it to zero here. Let's have it rerouted again. And also you want to make a print here, just to debug it and show off what surface type we are walking on. So that's pretty simple. 
we save this, compile, and now we play it, and we see a print there. It prints stone for the stone ground, and once we walk here, and also we can see that the ground friction is set to eight, and like like so, it, it works great, and the braking deceleration also works great. And once we go onto the ice, look, I do not touch anymore those keys. I'm just sliding here, and now as I reach the stone ground, I will stop again because the settings will be set again to 8 and 20, 48 and breaking the acceleration. So, And this is how we can have the player also react to physical surfaces yeah, and make him slide. So that's it. I hope it helps and see you next time. Bye.